Welcome home everyone, Wookie Legend here, and today we have the final of the how-to cruisers with the celebs. We're going to finish off the series, at least for cruisers with this, and then we're going to start off on uh, the, the battleships for how-to how -to videos. Okay, celebs. Uh, it's pretty much a lighthouse. A lighthouse. Uh, the funny thing about these cruisers is you're going to find out um, they have a lot of armor up here and no armor here. So if you're ever going to find yourself in a, in a location where there's an island... Right, the island's covering this part. They can still penetrate you here and do some damage. The, the shells will not go through and overpen you. They will actually pen you. So be very careful. This is kind of like a weird Achilles heel here for these ships. And it, going up the line, it has this on most of them. On most of them. Uh, but uh, let's see. About the ship, they're 150s. 8 seconds. No torps. Um, no real gimmick, actually. It's a very standard cruiser. Uh, you got Spotter. You got Hydro. HE. AP. There's nothing really to it. So, you're pretty much support. You're there to support anyone and, and, and everything. Uh, we got a 10-point captain. Uh, the turrets move a little bit slow. Or rotate slow. 22 seconds. So, we're going to just speed that up. We're going to give it some more HE. Uh, potential. Uh, uh, fire. Potential. We're going to give it uh, one more spotter plane and one more hydro and then concealment. So we want to we wanna disengage as much as we can. 10.7 is okay at uh, tier 5. Um, other than that, there's literally nothing to it. This is the most generic cruiser. We're not going to use any signals, so I can show you guys what it's like without them. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. Not the biggest fan of the celebs. It's an interesting ship. You don't get um, the little gimmick that comes with the Dutch cruisers, which is the um, airstrike, where you can drop ordnance onto a certain spot on the map within distance of your ship. Uh, but that's coming up. So maybe in a later video we're gonna we're gonna do something with that. All right, we're not exactly well. We're bottoms here, but there's only sixes, and we can handle sixes. Not a lot of DDs, which is fine. The cruisers, we're going to try to use our spotter plane to just shoot them from afar. Battleship, same thing. And uh, let's see how this plays out. On, on, good. Um, we're going to go wide. We, we want to stay away from the middle. We want to stay away from multiple angles shooting at us. Because... Um, this ship doesn't survive that well. That lovely tower in the front. You stand out. But, we go HE. Eventually, you're going to want um, Adrenaline Rush on this. So you can get faster and faster. Reload. The more and more you get hurt. Adrenaline Rush is quite ideal for most cruisers. What else do we have? Macaroni, Marblehead, Graph. That This guy's going to hit us hard. Yeah, gotta be careful here. Uh, our range, what is it? Oops. Range is 14. That's not that bad. Could be better. Preempt the smoke on the DD. Good. No bots, right? No. That's fine. Preempt the smoke right outside the cap, too. Well, they got a long ways to go. Start turning away now, as soon as I sp spot it. Because I want to get into a position where I'm not going to get crushed. See, the DD's already spotting me. There's the macaroni. And I'm engaging. I'm engaging with my gun, disengaging with my position. I don't want to be any closer to them. Now we are going to open up our spotter plane. Can actually engage this guy while we don't have any other targets. We want to pretty much non stop fire. If we're not stop non stop firing, we're missing out on a lot of opportunity because um, these, uh, oh, there you go. These ships actually cause a lot of fire, champ. You get a lot of fire chance. There you go. 
There's one fire. It's not permanent, but there's one. We slowed down there for a second, and we got punished. Remember, we have only 26,000 health. That's not a lot. We need to make it work as much as we can. I'm going to reposition. Head back that way. There's the DD. Any chip damage is good damage. Yeah, unfortunately, Fuso is going to eat all the torps. <laughs> yeah. Not good. Torpedoes, recht vooruit. Vijandelijke slagschepen gedetecteerd. Oh, we don't want to take that. Oh no. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. So Fuso is alone. There's nothing spotting the torps, and the Fubuki is gonna keep dumping torps on them. Problem is I can't get up there because they'll kill me too. That's the biggest problem. So all we can do is still be here and support, but we can't get anywhere near where he is to give him some hydro protection. Unless we start killing off some of these cruisers. Which isn't happening this second. Other guys are playing a little bit passive. Actually, the gal is playing where she's supposed to. He goes in and closer. It'll be very tough on him. Always F3 on the low health guys, so then the rest of our team can focus him down. The sooner he's dead, the sooner we can go to another ship. Now, no one's shooting at me, so I'm going to maintain this position until they start shooting at me. You got to be very vigilant, though, on what's happening. Because as, as soon as we turn away, well, we're, right now we're broadside, but we just need to be very careful with what we're doing. No one else is shooting him. Or maybe they are, but we're not getting good shots. Now, here's the problem. I, I want to engage this area. But as soon as I do, I'm going to get focus fired by the battleship. So I'm actually going to start turning away now. We do have map control. We do have also a closer ship. We can't finish off that guy. Oh, that's not the guy I wanted. Oh, okay. Fine. We have a chance against on the macaroni. You know. We're gonna go for it. Right now, Pensacola. Now, I should probably switch to AP here. Because he is broadside. I'm actually going to. He's not actually deviating. Usually, I don't want to switch because he's just going through a turn. But this guy's not going through a turn. So, I'm going to punish him for it. You want to go broadside? I'll show you why you don't go broadside. That's why you don't go broadside. Not the craziest damage, Citadel, but it's still a Citadel. Double Citadel. Going back to HE. There you go. Battleships are not shooting me, and I have no range on them. So what needs to happen is, after the planes go away, I'm going to push C-Cap because we know where the DD is. Go away. There you go. Now, oh. The DD was behind the island for a second there. He's not anymore. So now we're going to be in a little bit of danger going into the camp. Uh, the battleships are going to shoot us. Oh. Okay, we went dark again. So he is behind the island, which is fantastic for us. This is what we want. And that damage is what we don't want. So we're going to use the island to keep us away from the battleships. And getting closer to the DD. So then we can kill the DD at point blank instead of him spotting us. And then just running away. He knows we're coming. All we got to do is sneak in, get one or two shots, and get out. We already have the cap. The cap's already ours. There he is. 
We're gonna start turning away because he's gonna spot us right here. Hopefully, we have some shots on him. I already knew he was gonna do that because he saw that I was just straight lining towards him, which was just sailing straight. We're gonna do as much chip damage as possible before it goes dark. And then because he smoked up, we're going to use his smoke to disengage. We have a perma fire on him. And we're going to open up on these battleships now. Now we are going to keep moving because if we stop and think that we're safe, as soon as we get spotted, we're stationary and they're going to crush us. You know, he's dead. And there's a game. There's a game. We supported as much as we could. Yes, the battleship went forward. We couldn't support him there, but we still stuck around and we shot and we shot and we shot and that's all it is. Move around and keep shooting. You don't have any perks other than your hydro and your spotter plane. So maintain movement and focus on multiple targets, preferably the closest one or the, the one that has the least amount of health. There you go, guys. This is the celebs. Good luck with it. It's not the worst. Yes, it doesn't have special things, but you can still burn things down. You can still damage them and you can still get a fantastic game. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.